S&P Global Inc. SPGI analysts see $1.59 EPS. Analysts expect S&P Global Inc. NYSE SPGI to report $1.59 EPS on February 6. They anticipate $0.31 EPS change or 24.22% from last quarter's $1.28 EPS. SPGI's profit would be $405.45 million giving it 27.88 P.E. if the $1.59 EPS is correct. After having $1.71 EPS previously, S&P Global Inc.'s analysts see minus 7.02% EPS growth. The stock decreased 2.57% or $4.67 during the last trading session, reaching $177.33. About 1.12 million shares traded or 14.28% up from the average. S&P Global Inc. NYSE, SPGI, has risen 29.28% since February 5, 2017 and is uptrending. It has outperformed by 12.58% the S&P 500. S&P Global Inc. NYSE, SPGI ratings coverage Among three analysts covering S&P Global NYSE, SPGI, two have buy rating, zero sell and one hold. Therefore 67% are positive. S&P Global had four analyst reports since August 26, 2016 according to Sratingcentral. The firm earned market perform rating on Friday, October 27 by BMO Capital Markets. Barclays Capital maintained the shares of SPGI in report on Friday, October 27 with overweight rating. As per Friday, December 15, the company rating was maintained by Barclays Capital. The firm has outperform rating by Macquarie Research given on Friday, August 26. S&P Global Inc. provides independent ratings, benchmarks, analytics, and data to the capital and commodity markets worldwide. The company has market cap of $45.22 billion. It operates through three divisions, Ratings, Market and Commodities Intelligence, and S&P Dow Jones Indices. It has a 26.06 P.E. ratio. The ratings segment provides credit ratings, research and analytics, information, and benchmarks to the investors, issuers, and other market participants. More important recent S&P Global Inc. NYSE, SPGI news were published by, Nasdaq.com which released S&P Global SPGI to post Q4 earnings, is a beat in store. On February 2, 2018, also Globenewswire.com published article titled S&P Global Ratings Issues Report Highlighting Sabra Health Care Right, Inc.'s Nasdaq.com published, S&P Global Moves Up in Market Cap Rank Passing Express Scripts Holding on January 30, 2018. More interesting news about S&P Global Inc. NYSE, SPGI, was released by, blogs.wsj.com and their article. S&P Global CIO out amid broad operations reshuffle, with publication date, January 8, 2018. S&P Global Inc. receive news and ratings via email, enter your email address below to receive a Concise daily summary of the latest news and analysts' ratings with our free daily email newsletter. Coronation Fund Managers Limited has $5.32 million stake in S&P Global Inc. NYSE, SPGI.
Coronation Fund Managers Limited lessened its holdings in shares of S&P Global Inc. NYSE, SPGI by 14.1% during the fourth quarter, according to its most recent filing with the Securities and Exchange Commission. The firm owned 31,424 shares of the business services provider's stock. After selling 5,175 shares during the quarter, Coronation Fund Managers Limited's Holdings in S&P Global were worth $5,323,000 at the end of the most recent quarter. A number of other hedge funds and other institutional investors have also recently added to or reduced their stakes in the business. Cerebellum GPLLC bought a new stake in shares of S&P Global during the fourth quarter worth approximately $129,000. America First Capital Management LLC bought a new stake in S&P Global during the third quarter valued at $150,000. San Francisco Century Investment Group CA raised its position in S&P Global by 828.0% during the third quarter. San Francisco Century Investment Group CA now owns 1,160 shares of the business. Services providers stock valued at $181,000 after purchasing an additional 1,035 shares in the last quarter. W.E. Donahue & Co. LLC bought a new stake in S&P Global during the second quarter valued at $200,000. Finally, Country Club Trust Company N.A. bought a new stake in S&P Global during the fourth quarter valued at $203,000. Institutional investors and hedge funds own 85.37% of the company's stock. In related news, EVP Courtney Gettledig sold 1,404 shares of the company's stock in A. Transaction dated Thursday, November 9. The stock was sold at an average price of $159.38, for a total value of $223,769.52. Following the completion of the transaction, the executive vice president now owns 1,259 shares of the company's stock. Valued at approximately $200,659.42. The transaction was disclosed in a legal filing with the Securities and Exchange Commission, which is accessible through the SEC website. Also, CEO Douglas L. Peterson sold 4,000 shares of the company's stock in a transaction dated Wednesday. November 15. The stock was sold at an average price of $157.79. For a total value of $631,160. Following the completion of the transaction, the chief executive officer now directly owns 140,743 shares of the company's stock. Valued at approximately $22,207,837.97. The disclosure for this sale can be found here. 0.20% of the stock is owned by corporate insiders. A number of brokerages have weighed in on SPGI. Zacks Investment Research raised S&P Global from a «hold» rating to a «buy» rating and set a $204 target price for the company in a research report on Tuesday, January 23. Nomura assumed coverage on S&P Global in a research note on Thursday, January 11. They set a «neutral» rating and a $160 target price on the stock. Piper Joffrey Companies boosted their target price on S&P Global from $150 to $168 and 
gave the stock an overweight rating in a research note on Wednesday, January 10. Stiefel Nikolaus assumed coverage on S&P Global in a research note on Tuesday, December 19. They set a hold rating and a $186 target price on the stock. Finally, Barclays reiterated an overweight rating and set a $190 price target up previously from $185 on shares of S&P Global in a research note on Friday, December 15. Six equities research analysts have rated the stock with a hold rating and eight have assigned a buy rating to the company's stock. The stock currently has an average rating of buy, and an average price target of $172. Shares of S&P Global Inc. SPGI traded down 59 cents on Monday, hitting $176.74. The stock had a trading volume of 553,587 shares, compared to its average volume of 907,384. S&P Global Inc. has a one-year low of $121.89 and a one-year high of $185.34. The company has a quick ratio of 1.52. A current ratio of 1.52 and a debt-to-equity ratio of 4.00. The stock has a market capitalization of $45,219.15, APE ratio of 25.77, a price to earnings growth ratio of 1.88 and a beta of 1.52. About S&P Global S&P Global Inc., formerly McGraw Hill Financial Inc., is a provider of ratings, benchmarks. Analytics and data to the capital and commodity markets around the world. The company operates through three segments, ratings, which provides credit ratings. Research and analytics to investors, issuers and other market participants. Market and commodities intelligence, which offers multi-asset class data. Research and analytical capabilities that integrate cross-asset analytics and desktop services. And deliver their customers in the commodity and energy markets access to information, data, analytics services and pricing and benchmarks, and S&P Dow Jones Indices, indices which is an index provider that maintains a range of valuation and index benchmarks for Investment advisors, wealth managers and institutional investors